Yo, what's going on everybody, it's Alpac King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Now before I get into this jaw-dropping news, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but I'm going to tell you all about it and I'm going to give you my thoughts. But the first order of business is, after this video is done, what I want you to do is not to click off this video, make sure you leave it a like, go inside the description, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all that good stuff, and definitely sign up for that mobile text messaging when I do upload a new video so you guys won't be behind in this news. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated as much as I can with my crazy schedule, but let's jump into it. Mm -hmm, you, you hear that Birdman hand rub, right? <laughs> 2K Sports has announced that NBA 2K14 will include top EuroLeague basketball teams for the first time in their series. Now, of course, that means that they've got the licensing from the European League, but what you may not know is that this is a multi-year thing. This is not a one-year deal. This is not a, oh, get, we'll give you 14 teams and nip it in the bud. This is a multi-year thing, which means maybe next year they'll give us all the teams. Maybe next year they'll be able to give us a playoff matchup type of deal with the teams. Maybe they'll keep us updated with what's going on in the Europe, European leagues as well as the NBA. Maybe they'll put them in my team next year. Maybe they'll put them in my team this year. You never know. So it's it's a lot that can happen with this this is big news i know a lot of people that are fans of nba 2k series are saying oh this is you know useless this is just as useless as having a usa team and the dream team hey as far as i'm concerned this is big news to me it gives me something more to do a better idea to you know make my videos with but let me give you a little bit of insight on behind what's happening here 2K Sports got 14 teams total, and they're going to be adding them to PlayStation and Xbox One. They haven't announced for PC yet. They've only announced for uh, consoles. But um, I can tell you a couple teams right here. They got Berlin, Barcelona, Madrid, Moscow, Milano. They have Istanbul. They have Athens. They have, a, they have only 14 teams total, so, you know, it's not much on that. But what I can tell you is, my question to 2K is... After this year, since you guys are only letting us know that they're playable, will you have something set up where as though in your my career, you play over in Europe? Can you play for the European League? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm a, hey, I'm kind of speechless here because I don't know anything. I know a lot of you guys come to me for info, news, on any insight on what's happening with 2K. I am not revealing my sources to you guys, but I can just tell you right here, right now, if they make this bigger than just playing with them in a 5-on-5 five -five game, if they integrate these EuroLeague teams into modes... It is going to be crazy. Just, just imagine it, guys. It hasn't been a, a. It's, it's actually been a while since you've been able to play with, you know, the entire world. Like, at the, the entire world is now at your disposal. You know, it's not just okay, USA teams, and that's it. It's over and done with. Now we're stepping into another chapter. But, you know, um, I know a lot of you guys want to hear my thoughts on how these screenshots look and stuff like that. So let's jump into what I think about these screenshots. Now, in this first screenshot, there are a couple things that I do notice. I notice the logos on the floor. I notice the basketball. I notice the logos on the jerseys with the numbers. They look very authentic. The sneakers, the sneakers is a big thing. Are they generics? Are they the new 2K generics? Or are they name brand sneakers? I can't really tell from here. What I do notice is the banners on the announcers tables, the EuroLeague basketball logos and stuff like that. But one big flaw that I noticed the most in this is the drop down defense check out your guy at the top of the key he's not defending anybody he he's just standing there drop down in a defensive position with no one in front of him that's a very big flaw that we've seen in nba 2k 13 and i hope to god that they take that out before nba 2k 14 is launched that's all i'm gonna say about that screenshot right there all right the few things that i do notice in this screenshot is the defense um the guy's off his tippy toes that means that he's about to try to jump at a fadeaway that is already in motion so he has no chance of blocking the shot unless his block is on 99 and he has 
as eraser <laughs> um also what i do notice is the guy in the bottom corner um he's looking at the shooter saying as though am i gonna box out am i gonna try to rebound so you know the the ai is still there um i'm liking the rim the backboard stuff like that they they need a few more logos on that uh that <laughs> that court but it's all good um the referees doing a good job of you know surveying the play the cameraman um he might not be getting paid enough he's not worrying about anything uh the person that cleans the floor he's uh getting gum off his shoes at the moment <laughs> um the fans only a few fans are interacting with what's going on right now others are just sitting around waiting for a play to happen but you know it's 2k so uh that's enough for that screenshot right there let's move on to the next one Okay, I see that 2K will be branding the heck out of this Euro League. Um, I see that they have NBA 2K on the announcers table. Also, uh, the border or whatever from the uh, you know the fans to the court in the background. Um, I like the way the guy is pulling up for the three. Um, also, the defender he's trying to you know jump out, trying to catch up. Maybe he got beat on that play. Um, the um, number eight, he's just standing there. I don't know if they drop into the zone or what they're doing at this moment, but he doesn't look like he's doing anything or if he's trying to even help number 23. I think he's just looking at him get that work. That's about it. I see the fans over on the sideline cheering for their guy. Um, it's 13 seconds left on the clock, four minutes left in the uh, quarter that you can see on the shot clock in the background. You know, not too much, not too much. But I still want to know what's up with these sneakers. So, you know, I don't know if they're Euro League brand sneakers or if they're the new 2K generics. I don't know. I'm not totally sure. Hey, what I tell y'all, don't, don't be coming to me in my sleep. Asking, hey, iPod, tell me all about this. But uh, let's move on to the next screenshot, y'all. All right, I have a lot to talk about with this screenshot right here. Obviously, you could tell that the offensive player has split the defenders. His person that's on his team is already ready to run up court. He's like, oh, this guy got this layup. Uh, one of the defenders, I'm thinking he's flopping unless he's doing a fat Joe lean back. Maybe he's doing a Ricky Bobby. I don't know. But uh, I can also see the other defender just standing there. Maybe, you know, that's a that's an AI problem right there. A person is just going to stand there while you're going for an easy layup. Not going to contest you. Not going to grab you, foul you, elbow you, whatever. But uh, I do still like the floor. I see the um, fans in the background interacting. I see one guy leaving the, uh, the arena. He's like, man, I can't take this no more. But let's move into the next screenshot, y'all. <laughs> All right. In this screenshot, the first thing that I notice is people are in the paint for no reason that is bad spacing i don't know what they what type of play they were running but the second thing that i can notice is you can tell that the person that is in front of the guy that's going in for the layup has got bumped either by his own teammate or the person behind his teammate and he's in the total animation so his life is now over uh the guy that's deep under the basket i don't understand why he's there or what happened to him maybe he got pushed back by the animation but you can tell that the person that is either going up for the layup or going up for the dunk, either that's a floater or that's a mean dunk from a short guy. That's what I will say. And um, check out the guy at the top of the key leaking to the basket. I don't know if he got beat or if he trying to realize that one of his teammates got beat and he's trying to drop down in the zone. We will never know, you know, what happened with that play. But uh, I was trying to look at the background of the arena and stuff like that. I do see that they have the uh, the numberings and all that and, the, and uh, the jumbotron type of screens. All that stuff is, you know, nitpicking with. But, you know, it's looking pretty good. I still want to know what these sneakers are, man. I don't know. Are they 2K generics or what? But uh, I do want to thank you guys for listening to this video. I know I held you here for, you know, quite a while, but I hope you guys like my thoughts. And um, I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video. This is IKC signing out. Peace.